Hi, my name is Ava. I'm in second grade, and I, for my STEM Expo project, I am thinking, well, I wanted to know who was the best three-point shooter at all times. So, I think that if you want to be a good, if it's a good three-point shooter, is how many shots they made, and how accurate they are. And Ray Allen made the most three point shooters made. And most accurate is Steve Kerr because he made 45.4%, which is a lot. And then when you look at this one, where Kyle Culver is the best three point shooter today, well, Ray Allen made the most, but if you go down here, Kyle Culver didn't make a lot, but his accuracy, he did make a lot, which he's the star for now, today. And who's going to be the future star? Well, Kyle Culver and Clay Thompson, I'm working on Steph Curry. And total three-pointers made divided by the years they played equals the shots they made per year, which means... Uh, how, this is how many shots they made every year. That's what we think. And the average years played is 16. Which means in the middle of this, that is the middle number. So which means we think that usually if you are a basketball player, you play for 16 years. Well, three-point shooter, you play for 16 years. And the years they have left, we typed it to the shots per year. And it equals the future shots to the end of the career. Plus, total shots in 2016 right now. And the future totals is, this is how many shots they're going to play in the future. And... Stephen Curry's going to win this because this is how many shots he's going to make in the future, which is more than Kyle Culver and Clay Thompson. And his accuracy is more than all these people, and his is far the best. But he didn't win Steve Kerr, though. And he also has nine years left to his, yeah. He has nine years left to play basketball. Thank you for watching my presentation of who is the best three-point shooter.